This video was shot in a controlled environment. Please use all appropriate personal protection equipment and take precaution when performing any of the actions taken in this video. Hello and welcome to Micrometal Academy. I'm Abby Stancaldi, your host. Today, I'll show you our most popular curb type and how easy it is to assemble. The only tools you'll need is a rubber mallet, tape measure, and utility knife. Our smaller curbs offer a Micrometal exclusive called the Microlock. The Microlock is designed to trap the tab inside the slot for the other sections. Now you're gonna to wanna to use a rubber mallet for this, otherwise you could damage the top of the curb and affect the seal between the top of the curb and the rooftop unit. You'll know for sure when it's locked in. Let me show you how quickly this works. Warning, you don't want to incorrectly connect curb parts. They're very easy to go together, not so easy to separate. Some curbs use deck pans, which lay under the compression section of the rooftop unit. Now these don't require physical attachment to the curb. However, before you put them in place, make certain your curb is in place on the roof and square. To make the curb square, you must measure from corner to corner. So you wanna make certain that both measurements from corner to corner are identical, so you can adjust the curb and make sure that it's laying perfectly square on your opening. Now, this particular curb has deck pans which is comprised of four pieces. For the purpose of this video, the orientation of the deck pans has been altered from its original placement. Always refer to the submittal of the product you are assembling. The supports here are pretty easy to put in. These pieces go right into slots. They lay down on the curb and the rooftop itself from the weight of it will keep these down. Now, if you're going to use a concentric package, if you're using flex duct, those adapter pans would go straight into each one of your openings of supply and return. If you're using the hard duct concentric, these pieces come out. The deck pan with the opening is designed to allow the utilities up through the curb. So always check with the installation guide or the submittal so you know where the panel is located as well as the correct placement of the utilities opening. Wondering why the deck pans are insulated? The insulation works as a sound barrier, reducing the sound of the compressor section from entering into the curb and into the building itself, as well as temperature insulation from the heat caused from the compressor. Micrometal provides a ceiling gasket. What this does is prevent the air from leaking out and the water from going in. All you need to do now is place the RTU. However, carefully place the rooftop unit. If you attempt to drag the RTU in place, you risk busting the integrity of the gasketing and risk water getting sucked into the building on the return section and air from leaking on the supply side. When building a knockdown curb with corner brackets, the same method is used. The bracket is placed on the inside of the curb and wrenches are required. All the holes are provided and the assembly is simple. Thank you for watching Micrometal Academy.